may be familiar with Sewn Magazine and some of you may not be. Well, if you are not familiar, I just want to take the time to tell you a little bit about it. So Sewn Magazine is a fashion and DIY magazine that showcases home sewists, bloggers, professional designers and makers of all skill levels. Well, I recently received and accepted an invitation from the publisher and editor of Sewn Magazine, Michelle Morris, to collaborate on a project that will be featured in the April 2021 issue of Sewn Magazine. Yay! So Michelle, also known as that black chick on Instagram, by the way, she asked if I would do a Simplicity 8889 shirt versus closet core Cali shirt challenge. Two fabrics of Michelle's choosing would be sent to me and I would sew the garments and compare the two patterns because they are very similar. Well, I am going to record myself working on this project. I am so excited. I want to see how this goes and I want to share it with you so you can see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get started. So I got my package in the mail from Sewn Magazine. I do not know what is in here. The only thing I was told is that there are two pieces of fabric. One I'm going to be using for one top and then one I will be using for another top. So I get to open it up and see what I have and I'm gonna share it with you. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, I have my scissors. Okay, so let's see here. Ah. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Can you see? Okay. My scissors are not very. There we go. And there's a trash can right here. So that's perfect. Yes. So let's see what is in here. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. So one of these has lips on it. So that is too cute. It feels like a cotton, which would be perfect for a shirt. And then the other one is stripes, which is so cool. Very, very pretty. I love stripes. So nice. And they kind of coordinate. Hmm. All right, so I am going to go ahead and start on this project. I'm very, very excited to see how this is going to turn out. Thank you, Sewn Magazine. I wanted to show you all something that I noticed. So now that I'm at home and I laid everything out, I see that the stripes are going horizontally. But I also noticed that this is beige and then this is navy blue. And then there's a little white here on the like edge here. I was surprised to learn that this is not blue and white. When I was outside, I thought it was blue and white until I got home and saw this. So I wanted to share that with you because I thought that that was interesting, something different. All right, so I am going to go wash this beautiful fabric, this and the other one with the lips on it. I'm doing this one first and I'm going to use the striped fabric for this one. So let's see, this has 10 pieces. Get all the pieces out or cut out and then I will come back. So there's actually 11 pieces because you also have to do the button guide. So I have all of the pieces cut out. I tried to get a little creative with the stripes. So I made most of the garment vertical stripes. So I have vertical stripes here, vertical on the back. Let's see if I can show you some of the back. So the back is gonna be vertical. These are my line markings here for the interfacing and where I need to fold things in when I get to that point. I wanted the pocket to be 
uh, vertical. And then this side, the stripes are horizontal. And then I wanted vertical stripes on the sleeve, the horizontal back for the collar, and then the back facing will also be horizontal. So I just kind of wanted to mix things up a little bit just to kind of be a little creative. So now it's time to go ahead and start sewing everything together. Okay, I wanna check in and do an update. This is where I am so far. So I have the pocket on, I put the buttonholes in. This is the inside of the button flap. So that's on so far. And then let me show you the back. So I put the pleat in the back and this is how the stripes are going up here where they're horizontal there and then they're vertical here. And that's the pleat and this is where I am so far. So I am moving right along and I'm actually enjoying this project. So I will keep you posted. I hope you were able to see everything. Okay, so I have the collar on and put a button here. And then now the only thing left to do is add the sleeves. And some of the collar neckband area is gonna be vertical. But yep, I'm moving right along. All right, I have the shirt all complete. Here it is, with the sleeves on. Here's the bottom hem. There's the collar up there at the top. And the buttons are in. And the placket, or yeah, the hidden placket. And I did tack down in between the buttonholes because I noticed when I was wearing it that the um, placket or the, the shirt was kind of flapping open a little bit. So I just tacked down in between the buttonholes and I got that tip off of the Closet Core Patterns website for the Cali shirt sew along. So this is the back. <clears throat> Here's the pleat. That's it. Oh, there's a little string hanging. But this is the rounded hem and the complete top. Okay, so now it is time for me to start working on my next top, which is going to be the Cali top here, crop version. I'm going to try to make it you know exactly as I did the other one so I want to make the same kind of collar and the same hidden button placket so I have all of my pieces cut out these are just some of the pieces because I have been putting the shirt together and I just want to show you what I've done so far so I had over two yards of fabric which was really nice that was more than enough and I have the hidden button placket on sewn on. I still need to sew down this side of the front shirt opening. I have the button on. The directions in the pattern have the little top stitching area of the pocket on the wrong side. So when you complete the pocket, this part will be on the wrong side. Let me see in the directions if I can show you. So the W is the wrong side and the RT is the right side. I don't know if you can see that. But I flipped it around because I didn't want the wrong side of my pocket showing on the front. So I just flipped everything around and did the pocket a little different just so I can make sure the top hat portion of the pocket would be on the right side and not the wrong side. Now I just need to do the collar. I need to do the sleeves. Let me show you the back. There's the pleat. And yeah, I need to do the hem, the sleeves, and the collar. And then I will be done. So I will be coming back in a little bit. All right, we have a shirt. So I am done with the Cali cropped shirt view A. I did add buttons, I just did red and white. But they're hidden anyway, so you won't be able to see them. And what else? 
yeah the collar is in and the sleeves are on the hem is done and I already showed the back this is the back with the collar on yep I'm all finished Yay! So I'm all done with my sewing project and I am really happy with the results. So now that I'm all done, I want to take some time to talk about how the patterns are alike and also how they are different. So I'll start out with what they have in common. So both are crop tops. They both have high low curved hems. They both require buttons to go down the front. There is a collar. There's a left front pocket, which is optional, and both garments require woven fabrics. And lastly, what they have in common is that both patterns offer sew-alongs. So now what I'll do is put the garments on and I am going to talk about how the sleeves are different, the pockets are different, and also the length in the finished garment. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. This is the simplicity. It does have set-in sleeves, and this is the back. The Cali front. It has kimono sleeves that have a cuff on the end, and then you will see the back. I put the tops on top of each other. The Simplicity has a bust of 31 and a half inches. I made a size 8, and the Cali has a bust of 33 inches and I made a size 4. The picture on the left is the Cali pocket. It is rounded at the bottom and the top stitching comes to a point in the middle. And on the right hand side you have the Simplicity pocket and it is squared off at the bottom and the top stitching just goes straight across the top. Okay, so there are a few more differences that I want to mention about each pattern. So I will start with the Simplicity pattern first. And what I'll do is I'll just quickly touch on each thing in no particular order. Okay, so for the simplicity pattern, there are six buttons. There is no pattern rating on the pattern such as easy or moderate, for example. This pattern came out in 2019. The size ranges from 6 to 25, 24. I actually made an 8. The pattern does come printed and folded. There is a YouTube sew along and I purchased the pattern for $1.99 from Hobby Lobby. Lastly, there are 11 pattern pieces including the button guide. Now as for the Cali or Cali shirt, it comes in PDF or printed and folded. The PDF is $16 and the printed pattern is $20 on Closet Core's website. This pattern is fully customizable, so you can choose to have a band or a standard collar, a box or inverted pleat, and you can choose from three different front button closure styles. The shirt can be made in two different lengths. There are 12 pieces for view A, which is a view I made. There are really nice finishing techniques included in the pattern, like top stitching, the burrito method and the cuffs on the sleeves are finished nicely where the raw edge folds over to encase the seam allowance and then it is top stitched down. This pattern is rated as intermediate. There is a sew along on Closet Core's website with pictures and text. There are four buttons for this top, the one that I made, the view that I made. The pattern ranges sizes in sizes from 0 to 30. I made a size 4. This pattern came out in 2017. And lastly, the back pleat for the Cali top is just a little bit wider than the back pleat for the Simplicity top. So now what I'll do is go ahead and show you how I styled these two shirts.
Okay, so those are my two shirts. So don't forget that you can order Sewn Magazine to see sewists in the community, their projects, fashion inspiration, and a whole lot more in the magazine. The magazine does come out bi-monthly and it can be ordered at SewnMag.com. Now, if you purchase the April 2021 issue, you'll see me in there. Hey. Yay. So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So in many states, you can dial 511 on your phone to be provided with travel and traffic information. So if you're stuck in traffic and you want to know what in the world is going on, especially if you're on a major highway, try calling 511 and you may get your answer. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.